health and care workers. They protect us when we need it most. When our world shuts down, they go to work. They fight for the lives of our loved ones and comfort them when we can't. Day after day, often without proper protective equipment, despite fear and fatigue and against overwhelming odds. They never ask to be heroes, but the efforts we applaud are heroic. Health and care workers have died by the thousands protecting us from COVID-19. So applause without action just isn't good enough anymore. Now, it's our turn to protect them. Too many are underpaid and overworked without the resources to do their jobs safely. Too many face stress, trauma, and burnout without adequate mental health support. Most health and care workers are women, but few are in positions of leadership. All of this needs to change. Now, more than ever, we need to invest in skills, education, and decent jobs, in safe working conditions, and in policies that retain health workers, protect their rights, and support gender equality. This investment can heal our societies and rebuild our economies. But it's an investment that requires all of us, together, across sectors, professions, and politics. The time to act is now. Invest in health. Invest in health systems. But most of all, invest in the people who are the world's health and care workers.